Okay, good morning guys. Welcome back to a weekly vlog. I'm sat in my car currently, about to go to school. I'm running kind of late. Um, I've done makeup a little bit over the top today. I don't really know why, because I'm literally just going into school, but um, I got a new highlighter at the weekend. It was in a gift bag from the London Fashion Weekend event. I don't know if you guys saw the vlog. Um, but there was an Ofra highlighter in one of those, and I absolutely love it, but it's a little bit too like orange for me. Like It looks kind of okay in natural light, but when I was doing it in my room, I was like, Jesus. I look so orange. I think the hoops are a little bit big for the for the style of hair I've gone for. In fact, I'm gonna tuck my necklace in because it just looks a bit over the top. Um, but yeah, I'm about to leave for school. I'm running late. I'm not gonna lie to you. In fact, I'm gonna be pretty straight up with you. I really don't want to go to school. I don't really know why. I haven't re like nothing has happened or anything. But I just woke up this morning and the motivation to go in was zero. Like I very nearly just didn't go. I'm like actually quite surprised that I'm sat in my car about to set off because Tom's at a university interview today and he was like oh why don't you just come with me instead and I was so tempted I was like I really don't want to go to school at all I think it's just got to that point now where the end is like close but it's not close enough to feel like I'm nearly done and everything is just really super stressful and I just really don't like it <laughs> I just don't want to go at all I haven't enjoyed sick form really like as much as I enjoyed school and at the time I thought I hated school I was like oh my god I hate year 11 but now I would give anything to go back to year 11 like sixth form has been good because my like social life has been better like my friends and stuff but I don't know man A levels are just not the one I'm feeling like really just ugh about it all like no motivation at all which is really bad because this is like a crucial time to have motivation anyway I'm gonna be late so I need to leave I thought I'd just be like pretty honest about how I'm feeling this morning start the weekly vlog off with some honesty um and i am gonna get going i will tell you what lipstick this is later on because i really like it but i can't remember the name or the brand again i got it in a gift bag from beauty bay but i'm now a solid 10 minutes late so i'm gonna go because yeah i have to <laughs> so i will catch up with you later on during the day happy monday i hope you guys are feeling a bit more positive than i am <sighs> let's go okay so it's now lunch time and we have cooked well I say we i'm with emma and gabby and we've come to mcdonald's because um, I was in the common room and Gabby was like, I really want to go for lunch and like, go for lunch. And I was like, are you hitting that you want a McDonald's? And then Gabby was like, yeah. So we're going to Mackey's and I'm in a bit of a better mood. I went to photography, it was actually all right. Um, it's very busy around here, so I'm gonna go. But I think we might film like a drive with me. I'm not too sure how charged my camera battery is, but it probably will be fine. So it might be the first ever week. Well, it will have already gone up actually by, this, by the time this goes up, but it might be the first time I've ever had two guests. Emma might be the first returning guest. Hey. Oh, actually, no, Tom did it twice. Emma, how much did you order? I only ordered like three things. Three, three things and all that is a receipt. Yeah, that's, that's the... McDonald's, you're wasting paper. <laughs> you're contributing to the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. Emma's like, you're so yeah, weird. <laughs> We're now in the weekly vlog. We're finished filming our like drive with me that wasn't a drive with me. We haven't moved. We've steamed the car up. We're probably running a bit late now, so we're going to go back to school. Uh, I just bit my tongue. Oh. <laughs> um, Thanks for the update. Uh, no, it really hurt. Um, but yeah, I was gonna get fuel, but I think I'm just gonna risk driving back without enough fuel. Yeah, I will see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so it has been a little while um, and it's now like seven o'clock basically and I'm going back out to football because obviously tonight is Monday night so those of you that watch these weekly vlogs on the regular um, will know that Tom actually plays football on a Monday night. I hate that this is such a bad angle. I need a higher up bed. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to like catch you up on what happened after I finished filming basically because um, I was in school obviously today with it being Monday. Um, and I obviously found out last week that I have been given a place at Leeds Arts University. I mentioned that in my vlog where I was away with Tom and I think some of you are a little bit confused because I've spent so long saying I'm not going to university and like rightfully so I would be confused too. Basically the course I applied to do is a foundation course so it's not an undergraduate meaning that it is actually government funded so like I don't pay for it which is kind of what I was looking for because I just didn't see the point personally in me um, picking a degree that I wanted to do and paying for it and getting into debt when I don't know what it is that I wanted to do. Like if I'd found a course that I was like, yeah, that I think this is like for me, then I probably would have done that. But I just couldn't find a course that I wanted to do that I personally thought was either worthwhile and beneficial or like somewhere that I wanted to go. Like there are courses available at like Plymouth University that look really good, 
but I'm not going to move to Plymouth. So like, there were just loads and loads of factors basically. So I was given this place at Leeds Art Uni to do a foundation course. And today I was talking to my like head of year, shout out, because she's really helpful. Um, and I really didn't know if I was eligible for like student loan and all that kind of jazz. Um, because although it's free to do the course, I want to move to Leeds. Like ideally that is what I want to do. I want to move not for the full year because I don't really need to be there for the full year but like at least for the first term I wanted to look at either renting somewhere myself or student accommodation and student accommodation was a lot more ideal it's cheaper it's easy and it means that I'll be with people like also studying at uni um but I thought that I was eligible for student loan but it turns out I'm not which has thrown such a spanner in the works because um now I either need to decide okay I'll do it from home but I just can't really commute in and out of Leeds every day like it's an hour and like 10 minutes from my house um, and obviously that would then become like two hours and like two and a half hours really every single day traveling and I can't do it I don't want to drive it it would be very expensive getting a train isn't always reliable the trains run at like inconvenient times all that kind of stuff so I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do because I would either have to pay for the accommodation like fully myself which it's not ridiculously expensive but I hadn't like compensated for it like I hadn't allowed for that in my head so I have a huge decision to make now about whether or not I accept this place or if I do like do I move there and like take out a regular loan do I fund it myself do I save up like all of this kind of stuff but I have to make the decision pretty quick like I have to accept my place in the next few weeks and if I was going to book student accommodation I need to do that like as soon as possible so I've had a very stressful night looking at it all with my mum and being on the phone with the university and like all of that kind of stuff so I'm sorry I haven't filmed anything but I will keep you guys in the loop um now I'm going to football running a little bit late just need to go and get changed and then I'm picking Izzy up and we are going to watch Tom and Luke and the rest of the football team play football even though it is raining and about three degrees creds to me for being a good girlfriend okay guys so i have a retainer in just ignore that i'm gonna put the other one in but it's just the other one really hurts my teeth and this one doesn't i'm having just like one of those days and i really tried to like keep my vlogs like really positive really like yeah look guys i'm doing this i'm doing this like blah 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 because like i feel like that is what you guys like and that's like what i like filming and what i enjoy editing nobody wants to edit a vlog of yourself being like in a mood but I'm just having one of those days where I'm just like stressed, I think is the best word for it. Like everything is just getting to me. Um, not even because I'm like overly like tired or anything like that. Well, I mean, I am tired, I'm always tired, but it's just, there's a lot on at school. Like I have so many essays for English. They're setting everything at the same time. And I think the big problem is the lack of communication between the two schools. Uh, obviously I go to a sixth form where it's split across two sites and there's so much work and um all the deadlines are coming up exams are coming up it's just like a lot of stress and everything is just like getting to me and i'm just having one of those nights i'm having a real creative block like really bad in fact it's not even a creative block it's like a motivational issue um because like i take three creative based subjects and when you have like a creative and motivational meltdown you're pretty screwed when all three of your subjects require you to be creatively engaged and I'm just not feeling it and when your job is that too it's like it's just a lot you know like I don't know if you do you probably don't and I'm probably ranting for no reason and when I edit this I'll be like Molly you sound so annoying just shut up but it's just been one of those days like everything that I've handed in I've got like more work in return and like so many emails and like work with like brands and stuff which I love doing but then whenever I upload work with brands like you guys are like oh my god you're doing like well not all of you guys obviously just some of you guys are always like oh you're doing an ad and like all of this stuff that just stresses me out I put so much time and so much effort into every video I upload and especially if I'm collaborating with a brand especially like recently and in the next coming weeks I do have quite a few um sponsored videos coming up which has just so happened it's fallen at the same time and it's just literally a coincidence because some months you go like two or three months without any ads and then they all come along at once and that obviously creates people being like oh my god you're doing loads of ads and stuff and it's just all stressing me out because like the video i uploaded on tuesday for you guys i know it's going to get backlash because i know that people aren't going to like that it's sponsored but i enjoyed filming it and i enjoyed working with them 
and I enjoyed making the video and obviously I never say yes to brands that I wouldn't want to work with. Don't really know why I'm having this rant because it was irrelevant. I'm stressing about school but I'm also stressing about this and just everything at the same time. So I'm going to go to bed because, well I'm actually not going to go to bed, I'm going to try and write 500 words of this essay and then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> so I'm so sorry that today has been pretty like ugh. Hopefully the rest of the week will get better. Friday's part of the vlog will be good. Hopefully the rest of the week will be a bit more chill. Um, so yeah, sorry that today has all been kind of like, ah, uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to the gym in the morning, so I'm quite excited about that, actually. I really want to go. I haven't been for like two or three weeks now, so I really want to get back into it. So that'll be tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, and I mean, today's got off to a little bit of a better start. My lesson was cancelled, which was kind of annoying because we'd all done a lot of work for our English lesson today, and then the lesson was cancelled, but whatever i'm going to the gym now it's only 10 past 9 so i'm actually going quite early i want to be back by like quarter past 10 um because i've got a call at 12 today and i want to make sure that i've got some work done before that because i don't know how long that's going to last um so it's kind of worked out okay the fact that my lesson was cancelled it is freezing in my car right now i feel like this whole vlog has been in my car I feel like I've sat in here quite a lot. <laughs> That's just a, a representation of how my week's going. I really could do it to fill up. I have like no fuel, but I think I'm just gonna risk it and drive to the gym on a flashing fuel thing because it's only like a 10 minute drive and well, I don't have anything with me to pay for fuel and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So fingers crossed it's gonna be okay. I hate getting fuel, I hate filling up. Does anybody relay? Any new drivers absolutely hate going to fill a car up? It's not even because I can't do it because like after about the sixth attempt, I finally learned how to fill my car up. But I just hate doing it, like I actually can't. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. Haven't been in three weeks, so it's gonna be interesting because I feel like my legs might have seized up, but yeah. Gonna go. I'm actually in on my own and I was meant to have a call this morning. Have I got this top and back to front? No, it just looks really weird. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was meant to have a call this morning, but I actually didn't end up doing that. They had to reschedule, which is fine. Um, but it does mean that I could have probably gone to the gym at normal time and gone with Tom instead of going on my own. But whatever, it has happened now and yeah. So I'm gonna make some lunch because I've got like two hours until I need to go to school. I need to write an essay in that time and I think once I've got this essay done, it'll be like a proper weight off my shoulders because like this is my last deadline for this week. Well, sort of. Um, so I'm just going to make some lunch now. Didn't really know what we had in. I was going to go to Morrison's, but I just can't be bothered because it means driving my car and I am literally have no fuel and I don't want to go and fill it up. So I thought what we're going to do is make the best out of what we've got. So we've got some bread, got some grated cheese, we've got a salad. So I thought I could do like bread and butter and then like some cheese and then like a salad at the side and then some crisps and basically just like a sandwich but not a sandwich kind of wanted a quiche but we don't have a quiche in and i'm not going to get one so yeah i've got like wet hair still so i've tied it in this plait in the hope that by the time i want to go out it will have kind of like curled it but i don't know if that will work it's just meaning that i'm really cold right now so turn the heating on adulting yay <laughs> So it's been a while. I did actually go into school, although that was also pointless. Um, and I've been back for a while, but I just wanted to show you what I actually got at the weekend from London Fashion Week. So I was really kindly given a couple of gift bags from Beauty Bay, 21 Buttons, Ardell, and Franklin and Sons Soft Drinks and Tonics. So I just thought I'd show you what I got because I got quite a lot and I feel really, really lucky. And I just wanted to like thank each brand that I'd put the stuff together really, because obviously it was a 21 Buttons like X, the blogger program um, event. So yeah, thank you to them for inviting me, but I thought I'd show you what I'd got. So from the Beauty Bay event, which was the second one, if you watched the vlog, that was where we got the ice cream. Uh, in their gift bag, I got this hairbrush, which I actually really needed a new hairbrush because I threw mine out last week. So that was amazing. I got this, which is a hair styling um, product for expanding your fullness and shine of your hair. So that looks really cool. Then I got some of this, which, oh my God, guys, they were applying this onto people at the event. And it's basically, it's from the gy Gypsy Shrine, which you can actually buy this in Topshop and it's face glitter and this is so pretty and then I got an EOS lip balm in the I think this is the like I want to say the coconut scent but I might be wrong I had that ages ago then this makeup brush from Sigma 
Then this, which I actually thought was from Too Faced because the packaging looks so similar, but it's not. It's actually from Beauty Bakeries and they use the same font that I use. Oh my God, look, it's my font if that was in focus. So yeah, that's a really gorgeous, it's like a matte brown liquid lipstick. It's really dark. So I think that would look really nice in a winter. And I got this, which is a lip topper. This, which is a face mask. This, which is a mattifying powder. But look at the packaging on this, guys. I think it's so cool. It comes with a mirror and you just like slide it, but it's magnetic. Then I got this eyeliner which is from Ico and then this here is from Dr. Lip and then this is from Dose of Colour so this is another matte liquid lipstick and it is also brown although this one's a little bit lighter and then this here is a oh heat protectant cream that's really handy because I never have enough like heat protector because I use heat on my hair all the time then I also got this bottle of Prosecco from the Beauty Bay event so I'm not too sure if these were to take or to drink there so I don't know if I should have brought this home or not but I mean like yeah um and then from Arda, they were so generous when we were walking around the uh, 21 buttons event they just gave me and has a little gift bag i say little but they've got like basically all of the eyelashes in this set that Ardell have done. Oh my god, it's so hard to do this with a with one hand. But yeah, these are like basically all of the Ardell lashes and oh my god, you guys, I'm just in love. And then I also got these two. I got the Wispies, the black, and then I also got the Demi Wispies, but I've actually already worn those because they're my favourite. Um, and then in the 21 buttons over here, I got all of this stuff, which was also amazing. So I got a blank canvas cosmetics makeup brush and they are some of my favorite makeup brushes then i got this which is a vitamin toner and i absolutely love the packaging of this i think it's gorgeous um then i got this which is a exfoliate and resurface mask i again love the packaging got this pair of sunglasses which i think are very very cool i'm not sure if i am cool enough for them but they're cool then this is handy because i've literally just run out of mine um but this is a pore pore lip balm but it's one of those lip balms where you can use it on like basically any Anywhere, so you could use it on your hands and stuff like that and they sell these in Topshop again if you're interested then there's this Jekka conceal and correct palette so I've actually never heard of this brand but when I was looking at the product it's so nice like it's basically oh if you could see it's like a blush and a concealer in one so I thought that was really really nice and see my mum eyeing this up from over there and then this is a self tanning tinted lotion and I really like fake tans where it's like a tinted lotion rather than something that's really heavy because if I'm gonna fake tan I really don't like the ones that turn you kind of orange i much prefer the moisturizing ones and then possibly my favorite is this teeth whitening kit because i really want to whiten my teeth but i don't want to use any that's like going to be a bit dangerous or not like tested on or whatever and then also got a packet of harry bows and these are i think these are a tiny shampoo and conditioner which if they are that's very handy for when you're traveling so yeah thank you so much to everybody that was involved in the blogger events that were run like in collaboration with london fashion weekend i thought that the gift bags were amazing and thank you so much for everything that is in them i'm sure that a couple of bits and bobs will be added to some giveaways i've got coming up soon so yeah good morning guys it is now wednesday and i've woken up in a way better mood than i have for the other two days of the week um and as you guys know wednesdays are basically like my half day at well it's not even a half day like i've got one lesson i'm basically free um and i was gonna go to the gym this morning because whenever i have a free morning when i'm not in school i always try and go to the gym and that is usually 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 only twice a week so on tuesdays and wednesdays i don't go in like um straight away tuesdays i've got a lesson and then i go to the gym and wednesdays i try and like get up and go to the gym and i could still do it but i'm just not feeling it like i went yesterday and i really should go back today but i'm so much more motivated when i go to the gym with somebody because when i go on my own like right now I i'm not letting anybody else down like it was just me going on my own so like on tuesdays i go with tom and on wednesdays i've been with my friend emma before um and i do try and go like i'm really trying to stick to it because i've got quite a few holidays this year like i'm really grateful for them um with like my family tom's family um and then like my friends and i really just want like the summer body you know the one that everyone goes on about but i also just can't be bothered <laughs> and i have a lot of work on this week so i'm just gonna like in fact i'm probably not gonna get ready until i actually have to go out i'm just gonna do my makeup well i, I probably won't even do makeup this is the thing on a tuesday and a wednesday i don't really like make any effort just because i don't really leave the house um so yeah i feel like i might do a skincare routine this morning because right i don't know if any of you guys can see this probably a bit gross i've only just woken up but here above my forehead 
Okay, you really can't see this, but I've got like really dry skin like in this patch, like kind of like down from my head there. And then the rest of my face, I have oily skin. So I'm like, what am I meant to do? <laughs> like, do I apply oily skin products or do I apply like dry skin products? Because it's not even like it's combination. It's like when I'm stressed or tired or have had loads and loads of late nights, usual people like get a breakout but i don't really get touch wood i don't really get spots that much anymore instead i just get a horrible patch of like like dry skin here and it's disgusting so i really want to like sort my skin out this morning a little bit give it a bit of tlc and i'm gonna go and watch what will be on the telly good morning britain with my mum and have a cup of tea because wait no not good morning britain that's not like half past six what do i mean just like the news or whatever it is um but yeah so i said about it being freezing i've come downstairs in this and i wasn't gonna vlog because oh ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha. Ah. and then to be fair they've got oh no they haven't gone right so you might or might not remember about when was it like three weeks ago that our new next door neighbors <laughs> have blocked our drive every single week and the last couple of days, it's been like, ho oh, ho, they might have finished their building work. Nope, today they've come back and they've actually blocked our drive even worse than normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and film this for you because, right, okay, so I'm all for him having building work done and look at the drive, there's no car on it. Instead, the car is parked here at the end of my drive and there is a van, I don't know if you can see this van door like here blocking the street you can't get out so i really hope they have moved by the time i want to drive into town and go to school later because otherwise i'll be having some more words with them because they are really annoying me now <laughs> so it's been a while and i'm still not dressed or anything but i'm doing my photography and my project this year is this year no this term like my exam project is transformations and the first thing i'm doing is like using my new york pictures from when i went to america in october um and i'm using those photographs and then like also using the photographs that my mum and dad had like not had taken but like took when they went like before i was born so obviously it's really different so like these are the photos that my mum and dad have and then i have like the exact same photo but without the twin towers obviously so i thought i'd start there because i really wanted to do city photography so i'm currently scanning them all in in our printer in our office um like ones like this and stuff where it's just like little differences to when i went and when i've been there so i mean it's taking forever because i have to individually scan every single photo that i want to use because obviously they're not digital uh which is fine uh i kind of like the authentic look but it's just taking a really long time and they won't scan to my mac for some reason because this will only scan to a windows computer so very annoying but i'm having a really good time actually looking at all of these photos that like my mum and dad took i don't know why they're on such weird paper like, i don't know why they're this shape but yeah it's like a blast from the past so i'm now ready i look a little bit more put together kind of um and i've decided to wear this like off the shoulder top with this bralette from pink or victoria's secret can't remember um but like one of those two and um i just thought that i would sit you down and tell you two of my favorite things recently because i tweeted about one of them and loads of you replied like oh my god same so the first one is louise pentland's weekly vlogs because i feel like it was a trend on youtube a while ago to talk about your favorite youtubers and she has been the only youtuber recently that i've watched like religiously do you know why i think it is i think it's because her vlogs are really long so you don't have to change the youtube video um which is actually what i really like um and she's just like very down to earth so i really recommend her weekly vlogs her baby is very cute and i just enjoy watching her like clean her house and stuff it's just really like i don't know why yeah so that is number one and then number two the main reason i did just turn this camera on is because i have a new favorite foundation this is the fresh nude foundation by the body shop and i think it is about 12 pounds i have it in the shade barley vanilla and i've had this for a while but i've never reached for it just because i've always been using another one like i've never not wanted to use it i've just always been using another and the one that i was using and kind of still am is this one this is the Too faced born this way and now this is like 30 pounds i think or maybe a little bit cheaper um so there's a massive price difference and then today just because this is a bit too dark for me i have to mix this with a lighter foundation but the foundation i mix it with has run out so i didn't want to use this because i know that it makes me look a bit orange so i thought oh, i'll reach for this i'm gonna see if it like oxidizes but i really like the consistency it's quite runny and liquidy um but it dries like matte like it doesn't feel oily it just feels really nice and it's kind of like i would say it's like exactly the right shade i don't look a different color on my neck and i really really like it so 
yeah, I'm gonna go and have some lunch now. And then I'm gonna go and meet Tom for his lunch break at work. But like, I don't eat lunch when I meet him because that would get very expensive if I did that every single time. So I tend to eat my lunch at home and then go and meet him. I'm sorry this weekly vlog's already really long. I know I filmed a lot this week, but sorry. So guys, I just painted my nails, right? And I thought in my head, oh, I'll do black. I mean, they're a mess. Don't look at them. Black nail varnish is so hard to do. But I was like, and I thought, oh, I'll put this kind of opaque purple color purple over the top this is what happened that is not purple last week i had like a blue bluey purple underneath and then this over the top and they looked really nice so i thought oh it'll look kind of like that so i'm gonna take this off later because i hate it but i don't have time to take it off right now and we also have no nail varnish remover so fail okay guys it's been a while it is wednesday evening so that means that i'm instagram live uh, i say this every week but if you don't tune into my wednesday night live streams you definitely should do that my instagram is linked below but i nearly didn't look the comments but then everybody was like oh molly can you film the comments so i thought i'll do it for you guys so okay right so if you want to be in the vlog just like comment say hi um and if you see yourself let me know in the comments of this video i will be um doing an instagram live again next week actually will i am i free next wednesday i feel like something is happening no i think i am here so you should definitely tune in next wednesday and you might see yourself in next week's vlog guys i have actually just got back from the gym i don't think i ever told you that i was going but i went to david lloyd's with my dad um which was a change of plan for the evening but i just i did want to go today but i didn't want to go first thing this morning so got back from the gym gonna hop in the shower wanted to update you because I've been twice this week and i think i might go on friday as well so Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and I'm trying to rock a purple lipstick because why not? I've got way too much highlight on my nose so that kind of just needs to come off but I rub my nose all the time so that will probably come off in about three seconds. But yes, it is Thursday and I have had kind of a slow morning. It's 11 o'clock now and I'm dressed. So this is the outfit that I have gone for. It's this like white jumper that is tucked into these trousers that I got last week from new look i say it's tucked in it's actually come untucked um and then i'm rocking the dark lipstick and the hoops i say i'm rocking i'm trying to rock probably not rocking it um i need to leave for school in a minute i'm actually getting dropped off because um still got no fuel in my car one and two um tom has driven to school and there's really no point in us having like two cars there when we can just share a car so i'm just gonna like meet him in school and then come home with him let's do thursday oh i got the words wrong Tom's here, he's driving me home. We just had chicken pasta. And saw some absolute <laughs> in the road. <laughs> there were just two bikers that were literally swerving in the middle of the road, no lights on. Okay, well, we're gonna go now. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go now. Thank you for a lovely evening, Thomas. Thank you for the chicken pasta. Enjoyed my tea. Did you enjoy your tea? I enjoyed my tea. Do you enjoy spending time with me? I'm really should be happy if I give you free food. <laughs> uh, I think it comes as being boyfriend and girlfriend that sometimes we have uh, tea at each other's houses. Yeah. Uh, I think it is. Oh, that's cute. Right, okay. Well, I'll see you in the morning, maybe. Yeah. Why are you looking at me so worried? <laughs> I have a spider on my head. You've got a tarantula <laughs> on your face. I don't get it. Do you think I'd be sat here looking at you if you had a spider on your head? I'd be out the car and in the house. Don't do that. What have you got in your head? Tom does this thing. I don't have anything in my hair. Throw that there. What is it? I don't know. It's like a little bug. It's not a bug, though, is it? Just off it winds you up every time off yeah because i never know you can't say that one day Bad influence. one day there'll be a real bug on my head and you go oh molly you've just got a bug in your head and i'll go oh no i haven't you've and a real spider yet. will drop on my face that'd be so funny have you not heard either. of the boy who cried wolf no what happened did he cry wolf <laughs> yes i have seen it, obviously everyone's seen it well i heard it seen it seen, seen it, it. Seen, seen it it's not a film is it yeah right see you later then you're getting out <laughs> yeah i'll see you in the morning no don't leave <laughs> Why is that you? All over. I actually am going another because I've missed these stenders. Okay guys, so I'm about to get in the shower. I actually just went to fill my car up finally. Um, my dad actually did it for me, which was so, so kind of him because he knows I hate it. And I also replaced my windscreen washer fluid, tidied my car, cleaned it, took out all of the receipts and the stuff that were just like everywhere. Um, because I'm driving to Lincoln tomorrow to go and stay with Alice and Hannah is traveling up as well. So we're gonna be reunited. And I said I'd drive because geographically I live quite close to Lincoln, but it's really hard to get to on public transport because you have to 
to go over the Humber Bridge. Um, so I said I'll drive because it makes a lot more sense. Kind of regretting that decision now because it's like an hour and five minutes and I don't really drive out of Beverly, but you know. So after I've had my shower, I need to pack my suitcase because going away Friday night and Saturday night. And I'm actually super excited to see the girls. I haven't seen them since my birthday party, which was October. So we've got a lot to catch up on, a lot of food to eat, a lot of things to do. I think we might be filming some videos, so I'm very excited. I need to go wash my hair now though, because it's already 20 to 11. So it is now Friday. I look very pale. I think it's because I have like concealer over my lips from where I put foundation on. That is gross. Um, but I have woken up with the world's worst sore throat this morning. Like honestly guys, it hurts so badly. Like I never really get cold. I don't get a cough or a sniffle or anything like that. It just goes straight to my throat. And that's how I know I've got a cold. Like I have a cold, but I don't have a cough and that kind of stuff. It's really annoying. I've always suffered really badly with like, like a really sore throat when I was little, I used to get tonsillitis quite a lot, um, but whatever. Um, I am actually going to stay with Alice today, so I could really do without feeling rough, although Hannah has been ill as well, so I think we're going to be a really good barrel of laughs or whatever, but um, yeah, I've just cut my hair this morning. It's the first time I've actually done my hair like all week, but it's kind of gone really frizzy at the top, but I don't know if you can see this, because it wasn't properly straight to start off with. I kind of really half-heartedly straightened over it to then recurl it, because it's just such a waste of time, but it looks so much better when it's been straightened before, but the top kind of... Looks a little bit frizzy. And then I'm going to pick Tom up and we're gonna grab some lunch. And then I've got an English lesson this afternoon. And then after that, I'm just gonna go straight to Lincoln. I'm driving there, kinda nervous, kinda excited. I'll probably just be fully nervous later and no excitement at all, but fingers crossed, it all goes well. So I really need to pack my suitcase. I've got some little cat ears down here because I put these in my hair when I'm like putting makeup on. Um, pop them back there. But yes, I need to pack my suitcase now. Tom and I are in Poundland now, he's over here, because um, I'm driving to Lincoln today, as I already mentioned, but I stupidly just completely snapped my um, like phone mount for my car like in half. I tried to like adjust it and then it just snapped off and I was like, cool. So I really need that obviously because I need a sat nav. Tom's not looking at PS4 games. No, no, that's it. That's but yeah, true. I don't think they have one or we can't see any anyway okay so i'm back from school i'm about to go to lincoln i feel a little bit better i've got over my panic about driving had a little bit of a meltdown earlier because i just panicked but i need to just do it i know that i do first though i'm taking izzy and talek's birthday present because it was their party last weekend and it's their birthday on sunday so this massive box is for izzy and this is talek's they are from me and tom we like got them joint gift and then i've got my suitcase in here my bag there little present for Hannah and Alice in that bag there and then um, I also just got a press release I love how summery this is like it's really getting me in the mood for summer this is from Maui I have no idea how you say this but basically it's a shampoo a conditioner and a hair mask so thank you so much for popping those in the post I absolutely love this anyway need to load the car up now okay guys I'm with Alice now and Hello. I successfully made it what I didn't know about the drive from Beverly to Lincoln is that there is actually a junction where you join the motorway for like I think it was just probably like 15 minutes. It really wasn't that long, but I didn't know that there was a motorway. So I got on it. I was like, wow, this suspiciously has four lanes. And then I was like, oh wait, this is a motorway. And because I hadn't had time to like work myself up about it, I actually did it fine. Like I was gripping the wheel pretty tight, but like I'm proud. I'm alive. Thank you. I'm quite proud. I think to you be did fair. really well. <laughs> Never driven out of Yorkshire before, like yeah. I've driven never to, driven on a motorway. Never driven on a motorway, so I just broke loads of first. So now at least I know I can do it. I've left my county and I've been on a motorway. Yeah. But... And you're gonna have to do it on Sunday. Oh don't. <laughs> I'm putting that to the back of That's my mind. The one you've got to think I might, about I might just mean. stay here until like I'm like ready. <laughs> um but no, we're just waiting for Hannah now. We're at the train station in Lincoln and then I think we're gonna She's go gonna about ten minutes, I think. Yeah, ten we'll just have to try and get in at quarter past. Yeah. yeah, and then we're gonna go into like the town century bit. Are we getting food from there or are we getting food to? Um, Hannah wants delivery in Nando's because okay. it's Wait, you have Lincoln. delivery in Lincoln? <laughs> yeah, I know. Why doesn't Hull have this? <laughs> I'm still waiting. I know, Lincoln's going up in the world. We've got delivery. It, it, that's probably because it's like student That central. waffle place, they do, do they... delivery. So if we can't be bothered to go out for waffles, we can get them from delivery. I've done that before. Delivery, if you're watching. I really think you should put one of your services in Beverly and Hull because um, I'm yeah. missing out and it means that I can't eat my favourite foods as easily as Alice can. <laughs> it's not fair. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for Hannah now and then... Yeah. We're having a lazy night, aren't we? We are, yeah, because Hannah's been ill with a cold and I've got a really sore throat. It's just locked and all. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a lazy night, I think. It's been a while since we've all been together. It has, especially for like longer than just 
Captain yeah, like London. the last time was my party. Yeah. Which was like four months ago, and even then that and wasn't before like. Before that, it was the Zoella event in September. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's literally just in passing, isn't it? But I'm yeah. glad we've got a few days. Yeah, I am too, actually, because yeah, it's nice to have a little break. In. Yeah, and I like Lincoln, it's a nice city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've come into Primark, and Hannah and I have split up, split off, split up, um, to look for an outfit for Alice because for her video for that we're going to film together, she wants to do like a outfit challenge buy you thing. Why am I out of focus? Um, from Primark. So I need to buy an outfit. I've got Alice's bank card. Guys, my ZZ's delivery has arrived and I'm so excited. I feel like I've really earned it for like not crashing on the motorway and like actually getting here. So I feel like the fact that I've had pasta like three times this week is acceptable because I've earned it. I, I don't know really what, is this the pasta and not the garlic bread? I'm so, so yeah. confused. So it smells amazing, doesn't it? Okay guys, so we finished our takeaway probably like three and a half hours ago now. <laughs> and we've been sat just talking about like everything, just like everything you could talk about for the last three and a half hours. And it's been really nice actually because I feel like we've just been having a catch up. Um, I look a little bit rough. I feel a little bit rough. I've taken some tablets for my throat. I feel like it's actually gotten better because like once I got here I kind of forgot we'll that I felt ill. I feel Sorry, like... I just <laughs> no, I don't like, do you want to see that? No, I feel like I've, I've taken cold and flu tablets I've and got, the multivitamin. I've got two strawberries. Oh, I've got cherry. Oh. I've got some orange as well in my oh, bag. We could, we could we really, <laughs> really bury it. <laughs> Basically we're stocked up with various different kinds of drugs so if you're ill. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm doing like <laughs> yeah, I've I've had orange talking about different, medicine, different yeah. medicines. Medicine, but no, I'm gonna <laughs> fit. I started to take my jeans off because they're really comfortable. That's a great angle. It's your head. That's all people want to see. There you <laughs> it's go. It's a good job because I've got my trousers on person. <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, what I was saying was I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna do like a Saturday vlog separately because this vlog is already like 40 minutes. I know that it is, so I'm very sorry. Uh, Alice is looking to be like. <sighs> <laughs> what have you been doing today? No, it's from this the whole week. week. It's my oh, holiday, isn't it? Oh, we're in two vlogs. <laughs> yeah, you're in this one and you're in... Oh, wow. And you're going to be in Saturdays and you're going to be in my video, yeah. whatever we film. So oh, wow. three videos oh, with I these guys. Honest. God. Well, it has been a while to I'm be fair. I'm just joining mine together. I can't be bothered. True. I feel like I probably should have done that. should have ended my vlog this vlog like yesterday and carried it on but anyway we're here now so i'm gonna end it if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up both of these girls channels will be linked down below and if you want to see what we actually get up to that's not just eating food and sitting on a sofa then probably watch tomorrow's vlog because i feel like that might be a bit more like proactive um but until then i'm gonna go subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you then bye